All right, in this video, we're going to learn how to upload our video into YouTube and um, how to optimize it in YouTube for, um, for views, for search, um, things like that. This is part two of the video series, um, getting started with video, how to optimize and repurpose your uh, video content where we're teaching you how to create the video and then turn that into a blog post. And sometimes you're going to create a blog post and turn that into a video. Uh, so we covered uh, the kind of the overview on part one, and now I'm showing you how to upload the video. So you've already created the video. Okay. You need to go into your YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet set up your YouTube channel, um, I've got a video on how to set up your YouTube channel as well. So in the transcription here, and I get this all put together, I will put a link in there for you on how to set up a YouTube channel in case you haven't done that yet. Okay, so what we're, um, you've got your YouTube channel set up. Typically how I do it, um, my video's already been uploaded here. I had, to, I had to get it uploaded first. It takes a while to upload so I can show you everything to do on the back end. So see this little arrow up here in the upper right-hand corner of YouTube? Click that, and what'll happen, I'm gonna open this in a new tab so you can look at it, is from here, you'll be able to select files to upload. So you go ahead and click the up arrow, go to your video file, find the video that you want to upload, and then you're going to click open. Now all of your defaults will show up. Okay. I, I've already published this video, so don't worry about it. But I'm going to show you um, in this other one all of our defaults. So let me just cancel this. Okay. Uh, let me tell you really quick, in case you don't know this, if you go to YouTube and um, we're going to go to you, my channel. Gosh, I'm, I'm realizing as I'm saying this, how many, how many more things there is to show you <laughs> as I'm going through this. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and go up here to, if I go up to this little picture, I can access the creator studio, go to creator studio. Then over here, click on channel and then click on upload defaults. Okay. Now right here, you're able to set up some defaults so that every time you upload a video, these certain rules will apply. For me, I always upload my videos in unlisted. That gives me the opportunity to go in and optimize it and do everything I want to do with it before it's published. Okay. So you, you're going to want to check that out if you want to do, if you want to change that, then you're going to choose what category you want it to go in for my real estate agents that are watching this. There is not a real estate category. In fact, they really need to do something with this category list. So I put mine under how to and style. You might want to put it under, I hate politics or I'm not going to put it under news and politics. There really isn't a great, category, maybe travel and events. I don't know, people and blogs, maybe anyway. So choose one of those categories. I don't really know how much that plays in these days, but I would still go in and have, choose something. Um, title only if you want to have some sort of default here as it uploads, like maybe you want it always to have, uh, uh, the year 2018. And so you're going to let that publish. And then you're going to add to the front of it. Maybe. And then here you have your defaults in the description of the video. Okay. I like to have some defaults in here that are, are going to be something I'm going to type in here every single time. This is my marketing company channel. For example, if this was your, if you have a real estate business, your real estate channel, you might have search for all homes, uh, get your home value here. You know, these are going to be, um, in the body of the description. Now I do add other things to the description based on the video itself, which I'm going to show you coming up but I do like to have these default links in here. Okay. Um, and then I have default tags. So if you want, like, these are like keywords. If you want a certain tags to show up every single time, you would put those here, whether or not you want to allow comments, whether or not people can rate the video, uh, monetize, monetize with ads. Um, I have monetization set up on my channel. Um, not because it's actually running ads or earning income, but in order to get the annotation to include a link at the end, you have to be set up for monetization, by the way. So I actually don't have any ads running right now. That's all turned off. But if I did, I could choose whether or not I want this particular video to have an ad on it or not have an ad on it. Okay. 
Um, and then the ad formats that I'm going to permit for other people to put on there, the video language, um, whether or not I want anybody else to be able to contribute to this video, the community contributions. Um, I have not done a bunch with that yet, and I'm kind of nervous to. People are kind of wicked mean on YouTube, so I don't know. I, I'm afraid to let anybody, and spammers and whatnot, so I don't have that on right now. Um, whether or not this content is ever aired on television in the United States, that's your caption certificate. And if you want it to allow you to, if it wants to show you suggestions to make your video better, and whether or not you want the video statistics on the watch page to be publicly visible. So once you set this up, you can go in and save that and it will be there every time. There's also a branding option in here where you can put a branding watermark in here and when you want that watermark to show up. If you want it to be there in the entire video or a few seconds after the video starts or at the end of the video, okay, you can mess around with that. Um, and then uh, the advanced features, your country, your channel keywords, whether or not you want advertisements to be displayed along your videos, um, your AdWords account, some of that kind of stuff. So make sure you go in there and set up your defaults before you really get all this rolling because that'll make this part much, much easier because mine's already there when I upload it, okay? So now, I've already uploaded this. Let me show you the steps when you go through an upload. So the first thing I wanna make sure I do is have a title. Now, your title is really, really important for YouTube search, okay? YouTube search, although YouTube is owned by Google, YouTube has a completely different algorithm for how it ranks its videos on YouTube, and then Google has a completely different algorithm for how it ranks YouTube videos or any videos on its search engine. They're different. You want to make sure that your video is optimized with keywords, what it is that you want people to notice. And you might want to do a little explore, exploration and keyword research first if you're really curious about how people uh, might be searching. Now, I use um, an add-on software, uh, a YouTube extension, and it's called TubeBuddy. And what I love about TubeBuddy is I'm able to go down here to these tag tools and I can go to Explore. So I might even do this before I pick the title. And I can type in, uh, I'm gonna put getting started with video, okay, because that's in my title. And I'm gonna click explore. Now what, you, what TubeBuddy does is it actually scores certain keywords that it thinks may or may not be related and it tells you whether or not those are good keywords to use, okay? I have no idea why it thinks this is about Pitbull. Even though I love Pitbull, this is not about Pitbull. Because let's go to, um, let's do something with creating, create a video. Let's try that one instead. Ah, tutorial. See, already I got an idea because I, I'm not using the word tutorial enough and I need to start doing that more on YouTube. So um, how to create a video on YouTube tutorial. Okay, now watch, now let's explore that. Okay, so I could actually just do some of these small ones now like how to and YouTube, and then I can scroll down there and see if any, how to make videos, that one applies. Well, when you check these little boxes off, you're gonna be able to insert these into your tags. Okay. Now there's also something over here called auto suggested, and this will be um, other keywords that they think you might want to use. Okay. So let's just select, cut that down to create a video on, let's do YouTube tutorial. Watch this. That one's going to have a bunch of stuff. I'm sure. Explore. Auto suggested. There we go. YouTube tutorial for beginners. YouTube tutorial video. So any of these kind of things that you think might apply and then click insert. Okay, now watch down here. 561 characters out of 500 permitted. So I can't fit all of that in. So I'm gonna take out this keyword tag by clicking the little X. Okay, and um, I think there was another one. Let me. Let me actually see, okay, 
it's not changing my tags here. It'll tell me in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna come back to those. So we so we did title, um, and now that now I know I want to use the word tutorial. See that gave me inspiration. Um, how to create, optimize, and repurpose video content. You know, I'm gonna put tutorial at the front. Tutorial, video tutorial, getting started with video, how to create, optimize, and repurpose video content. Beautiful, love it, okay. Now, sometimes it's also a good idea to make sure that there's words in your title are also in your tags, okay? So I'm looking around to see, did I use the word video tutorial? I did not. Oh yes, no I didn't, video tutorial. Now see what's happening down here? Uh, Tube Buddy is suggesting more keywords here. None of them apply, but if I wanted to use them, I could just click on that little green plus sign, okay? Um, video tutorial, getting started with video. Did I do that one? Yes, getting started with video. Optimize, repurpose video content. So I'm gonna do this, repurpose video, and I'm gonna do video content, and then I'll get rid of, uh, that one. That should put me at the right tags. Okay. Now, once you've done this, go over here and now you can select your video that it's going to be public as soon as you're done here. Okay. If you want, you can put a little message here and put Google and Twitter. Check out this great video tutorial on creating video and video blogs for SEO, something like that. Maybe I'll do a hashtag. Okay. Um, and then here, and if you've already got all your automation processes set up where this video is going to syndicate out through like buffer or whatever, you don't need to do that necessarily. Um, okay. And then, but it's there for, if you want it, and then you're going to want to put this in a playlist. Okay. Now there's two kinds of playlists. There's a series playlist and there's a regular playlist. And I will go ahead for you and open playlist real quick. So I'm going to go into my video manager and I'm going to click on playlists. Okay. And let's go to this playlist. Oh, these are my videos in the playlist, not the playlist. What happens is if you create a playlist as a series playlist, so like for, for example, this you're watching right now is a series playlist. So I've created whatever it is, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 videos in a row, five to 10 videos in a row that are all related to each other. They're in a series, they're sequential. Do this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Then putting them in a series playlist makes that makes it more likely that Google will suggest, that YouTube will suggest that video to the watcher watching it instead of somebody else's, um, and instead of somebody else's. The difference between a series playlist and a regular playlist is once you, I'm gonna click over here, edit playlist, and then right here, click on edit. And here, playlist settings, I can say, is this playlist um, unlisted or public or private? Which by the way, why would you ever make a private playlist? Um, that's one word where it could be something that you want to publish at a later date or you're storing it, it's only for your knowledge. Unlisted is gonna mean anybody that has a link can see it, but it's not public to everybody else. So if you're, if you're building a, a, a how-to tutorial operations manual for your business and you want to have everybody have all the ha, have these playlists and whatnot you could make them unlisted and then only your team would have those links if they're not just publicly searchable something like that and then you have published okay you could order it manually by date added by oldest most popular newest that type of thing you can click that it'll automatically add new videos to the top which I don't recommend if you want this to be in an order if you're just making a series playlist on all the communities in Las Vegas for my real estate business, there's no necessary order. But if I'm making a how-to series like this one, there's an order, okay? So that's the difference in how you might wanna do those. Um, auto add, and then you can add rules and you could say, if the title contains, I don't know, how-to, then add rule, Whoops, I'm sorry. If it contains, then add it to this playlist. If the title contains um, selling a house, then add it to this playlist. If the title includes staging, then add it to my staging playlist. So that's really cool, but you have to be really careful. Make sure your keywords aren't 
adding automatically on your upload, and then everything will get added to that playlist. And then Collaborate allows other people to upload videos to that playlist, okay? I'm not gonna cover any more on this, but up here, here's the option on set as official series for this playlist, yes or no, okay? Now, it will not let you set it as an official series for that playlist if one of those videos is already in another series playlist. This is the biggest difference. If you're just using playlists, you can put videos in a bunch of different playlists if they apply. But if you're using series playlists, you have to choose one playlist as the primary playlist for that video. One video cannot go in two series playlists, okay? So you're basically choosing authority. You're basically choosing authority. Which one is the most relevant? Is this video the most relevant in that playlist, okay? You can still put that video in other playlists. You just can't put it in two series playlists, okay? So series, making a series playlist, you are making that the official playlist for that topic, okay? So you wanna be careful about which ones you're making series playlists, but that can help you get more watches and more views and more um, suggestions. So it's, it's, a, it's of a benefit to pay close attention to your playlist, okay? Um, all right, so to create a new playlist, you just go down here and click create a new playlist and you can title that playlist and put it wherever it goes. If you look at the front of my channel here, I'm gonna to go to my channel and if you're a, a customer watching this, look how my channel is set up with playlists. The thumbnails match or they're a similar theme and there's some sort of order to this. This is a series playlist, okay? Rank like a boss agent interviews. Now this is an example of where I would want to have auto add a video to the top of the list because this is not a how-to, it's not a tutorial, it's just a bunch of videos. Well, on this one, I want the most recent at the top. So to have this one set up as an auto um, add to the top, that's gonna be a yes. That's definitely a benefit. So that's a series, okay? Um, here's another series, how to generate business on next door. So you kind of see this. Now you can customize this whole front end by just clicking on, um, by clicking on customize channel and then you're just gonna be able to go in and edit which playlist show up on this homepage. All right, so we can get into some more of that advanced stuff later. But I wanted you to get the idea of how, how powerful these playlists can be and how you can put them on the front of your channel as well. So you wanna be using playlists and building content that's relevant enough to put in a five to 10 part series, okay? Because it will benefit you. Ranking on YouTube has a lot, has a lot to do with watch time. Total watch time on your channel, total watch time on that video. The longer they're watching it, the better. You're better off having them watch, making a 15 second video and having them watch it front to back than making a one hour video and having them not watch the whole thing all the way through. It's better to break these up. That Again, that's another reason for a series, right? Obviously tutorials are longer, but you wanna get that watch time up there, okay? And then, um, uh, this cool checklist here is um, with this checklist is provided by TubeBuddy and it's a cool little checklist here to do the next steps and I think this video now has gone a little bit long and so I'm going to stop here and then on the next video I'm going to show you how to finish the optimization because now we need to go in and do our cards and our end screens and I will do that in the next video.